how cheap or how expensive is it actually to live here in the Peach State? Or is it more average? Well, today we're going to talk about exactly that. We're going to talk about the cost of living here in Georgia. So let's go. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Misha Thompson. I'm your local real estate professional here in middle Georgia. And if you're new to the channel and new to me, consider subscribing and turning that notification bell on so you will stay up to date with all the latest videos I'll upload. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you smash that like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe. Don't forget that and put in the comments what you liked and what you didn't like. There are multiple factors that play into the cost of living. Doesn't matter in which state you are, but the cost of living here in Georgia, as well as the cost of living in California, but we're talking about Georgia. So, so let's start with taxes. Everyone loves taxes. If you do not change your resident to Georgia, you don't really have to care about the income tax. But if you do, Georgia has a progressive income tax system with a tax rate between one to six percent and every single filer that earns over seven thousand dollars pays six percent income tax when it comes to property tax though georgia is super cheap the annual median real estate property tax is eight hundred dollars less than the national average the property tax are different from county to county though and range anywhere from 0.45% to 1.66%. Let's talk about the next factor real quick, which is groceries. Everyone needs to eat something, everyone buys groceries, but the groceries here in Georgia are just a little bit cheaper. So Georgia's groceries are 3% cheaper than the national average, but then it depends where you're at in Georgia. Groceries are more expensive in Atlanta than they are, for example, in Macon, Warner Robins, or in Savannah. And Macon, Warner Robins, they're actually way cheaper than the national average. Cost of living in Georgia, factor number three is the utilities. And yes, you have the AC running a lot and people who love their AC to be on 68 degrees, put it in the comments below what your favorite temperature or your thermostat is during summertime. Georgia, generally speaking, is about $15 more expensive a month when it comes to utilities than the national average. Not only electricity, but gas, as well as internet, TV, and phone. I don't know if someone still has a home phone. If you do, if you still use a home phone, put it in the comments below. I would like to know how many people still use home phones. But TV is very expensive. We have AT&T and it's just about $130 for TV a month and we don't have any special packages. And on top of that, you pay about $60 for high speed internet. So it's pretty expensive when it comes to all that. Let's talk about transportation. Well, Georgia is 5% more expensive than the national average. And the reason for that is that car insurance is expensive here in Georgia. Georgia is actually the 10th most expensive state in the US when it comes to car insurance. The reason why is probably because Georgians have way more accidents than any other state in the US. I mean, Texas might be right there with Georgia. That is one reason why the insurance is way higher here in Georgia than the national average. When it comes to gas, I personally do not think Georgia is expensive. At the moment of this video going online, our gas price is at $2.19 a gallon, which is not expensive. It's still above the national average, which is crazy. Public transportation is the only thing that is actually cheaper here in Georgia. Only by 1.5%, but it is cheaper. I mean, cabs, bus, Uber, Lyft, they're cheaper here in Georgia. So you might as well, in a bigger city, want to use public transportation instead of your own car. Another very important factor is healthcare, health. And healthcare is about 5% cheaper here in Georgia than the national average, which is very important. 5% doesn't sound much, but it is. Last but not least, when it comes to cost of living in Georgia is housing. It doesn't matter if you rent or purchase a property, it is cheaper than the national average. And of course it is different, depends on if you live in Atlanta, Savannah, Augusta, 
Warner Robins Macon. I mean, Atlanta is the most expensive part of Georgia uh, when it comes to purchasing or renting a property, but still is cheaper than the national average. When it comes to purchasing a home, Georgia is literally 15 to 35% less expensive than the national average. So if you want to make your dream of home ownership come true, Georgia might be the right place to be. If you want to figure out if Georgia is the right place to be for you, check out my other video about the pros and cons of living here in Georgia. I did another cost of living video about Warner Robins. It's more specific to the area, but it's a big difference. And if you want to check it out, click it up here. And if you want to know what the cost of living in your area is, put it in the comments below and I'll make a video about it. Generally speaking, Georgia is 7% cheaper than the national average. That's great. And if you live in Atlanta, it's a little bit more expensive than in Macon, in Savannah or Augusta. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you want me to make a video about a specific topic, put it in the comments as well. Smash that like button. Thank you for watching and make sure you watch the video about where the housing market is going and what is happening in the Georgia housing market right now.